her bist. The Escapist program started with some friends of mine casually having coffee, talking about art. I can't believe it's already the video for the class of 2012. Trey was the sole male out of the Escapist, except I do know Trey likes to stand out, so he stood out more. <laughs> and I never even thought about that there were four uh, females and one male. It sounds weird even saying that. For me, they were just young in their career artists that were looking to grow and become part of the escapist family because once an escapist you're always an escapist. It's grown um, exponentially since we started and you saw that it started out as an extremely casual um, time for local artists to meet over coffee and John to hopefully inspire them and now it's just become so formalized where it's almost like a true educational experience for these artists. There's um, systematic group meetings, group assignments, where everybody comes together and learns from each other on a regular basis. Any artist that applies to the Escapist program is a go-getter. We had three in 2010, three in 2011, and then this year in 2012, um, we increased it to five. That was the year we had more applications than any other year. There were several several reasons why that happened. Um, we were inundated with applications. And what I know will happen because of the evolution of the program, every year we'll probably outdo the year before, or that's our intention. Through the work we've done and the goodwill that the program has established in the community, it's becoming very popular. Um, we had at least three times as many applications as the year prior. It just happened that when you looked at the scores after the jury panel looked at everything, there was like a clear break between the top scores and, and the, what was gonna be the cohesive group. When you're gonna step out and do something that doesn't feel comfortable in life, a core thing inside of us, we'll do anything to avoid pain. So what happens uh, about rejection, so people don't have to feel the rejection because if they're artists, they've already felt rejected by almost the world. Nobody wants to try to grow up and be a rock star, unless you're on the Rolling Stones. Um, everybody that applied was talented. Everybody that applied had courage. These guys just had set themselves ap apart. So one of the big parts of the program, I say to the artist, if you have heaviness in your life, tell me because we're gonna figure it out. This is our first time we've ever had an escapist who was not based in Houston, Texas. Lauren Wandra Smythe um, lives in London, e England. She is a native Texan. She's lived in London for several years as a successful artist. Every year, it's very important for us to think of ways to make the program more sophisticated, more evolved, where people as artists can grow their own specific style. It has nothing to do with my style of art. Now, if they want to know a technique of something I've learned, of course, I'll do anything. So having that distance um, was a factor because we do want there to be a cohesive group. The quality of the artist to keep evolving, which is it's just so amazing how that it's um, ever happening. Another very special thing this year was um, Lee Armstrong um, applied as a high school student and she, she was the youngest ever applicant and escapist artist. It's about making their voice louder in the world so their essence is out there. Helping artists um, through this uh, mentorship program uh, it's, it's, I've said this before, it's the favorite part of my job. You know, we, we work very hard in the business of art, but this is our means of giving back. And it's, it's always the real inspiration is for us. The program is at a higher tier and a more respected uh, mentorship program to be a part of because there's nothing like it. There's nothing like it. Trey. Trey Slaughter. Is an artist that I met many years before the program. The male 
escapist. He spells his name T-R-A, which is A-R-T, it's art, backwards, which is amazing. My name is Trey Slaughter, and I was an escapist in 2012. Um, my work is a mix of um, a lot of views of people just in regular everyday life, roughly depicted um, with a lot of verbiage and wordage behind it. Inspirations in everything, daily life, daily struggles, daily championships, you know, everything. I recently became a father. I have a six-month-old daughter, so she's become my, thank you, she's become a big inspiration. Trey's artwork does contain an element of, of darkness and controversy that has not been present in prior escapists. Trey's youthful energy and the depth of his art and then the way he can interact with client or potential collector 101. He thinks about it a lot when he prepares his show or when he goes into creating a series. There is a lot of mind processes and um, story and reasoning with a message he wants to put out there. I know, you think that's a stage name. <laughs> Lauren is our first ever international escapist. Lauren Wondra is a firecracker in the program. I am the girly Picasso from London. Inspiration behind my art is good manners, bad manners, and everyday kindness. She is a total dynamo. My name's Lauren J. Wondra. I'm the girly Picasso from London, and I am a 2012 escapist. Uh, she lives in London, and what it did is when people are not in the city and you have to Skype with them. Having the plan and meeting every single week and being so consistent, we were able to make so many goals and to meet and exceed all of those goals. They value that interaction. So many amazing things happened uh, by being so disciplined and meeting at the, at the same time every week. Um, she married a British man named Jeremy and, and they have a son. To be international is to also be global and I think that's um, part of his message, just getting it out to everyone in the world. She is licensed in more places than I can imagine. I, can, I can't list them all, but it's not just in America. Um, I like to use very glamorous acrylic with mixed with very beautiful different um, mediums that I get from this lovely, lovely art shop that has a royal warrant from the queen herself. All during those teenage years and everything, she had a lot of businesses. It's Yes, and I like to get um, actual pieces of platinum, uh, different kinds of gold. She did all of these very otherworldly things for a person of her age. And that reminds me of one person. <laughs> John Palmer, yeah. Real 22 karat gold ink to sign your name. It varies from time to time, but a hallmark I'll see is very feminine. The materials are very glamorous. Glamorous. I would say it's glamorous. I mean, there's sometimes where she uses some Swarovski crystals. And very luxe. Okay, Sonia. She reminded me so much of my uh, little sister. She just had this innocence about her and this, this zest to learn about promoting her art and just this excitement of what do I got to do? What do I do? Let's meet. Let's meet. And your name is? Sonia Cuellar. My inspiration is always color. I love color. I love bright colors. I walk around. I'm a photographer also, so I walk around taking photographs of things that inspire me from a floor to a brick wall so it to... Be it could be anything. Sonia's are about the use of color um, and, and movement within the piece. The more authentic you are to your art, the more people relate to your art and the more you're going to evolve. That's what she does. And it can invoke any emotion that the viewer so chooses. And I think they're, be I think they're gorgeous. Was in a class at Glacelle with um, Edgar Medina and he had been an escapist and so he encouraged me to apply. And so I did on the very last day that <laughs> was available to apply. I believe Ryan even said to me that she never felt like an artist until she was accepted into the program. I get that because as an artist, you're looking for someone to say, you're an artist. Being around John and Ryan, um, gaining confidence and, and um, believing in myself was the most important thing and things have changed a lot because of that. Um, her partner, Anne, is a, a very prominent Houston attorney. Anne is my partner of three years. 
and during the year was running for the House of Texas House. She ran for Texas State Representative, District 134. Um, it was a very, very, very busy year for the both of us. You're trying to promote yourself. You're very interested in getting as much attention from us as possible. I was doing the escapist program. She was running for office. At the same time, you have to be a supportive, dutiful spouse. While I was in the program, she was still very supportive. And even though she had a crazy schedule, she was still you know, there with me all the time and supported me. Um, Sonia handled it all.